talk about the film itself. I'm going to mention a little bit about the EpiPen jump. That's uh, a lot of people have been complaining about through the media. Um, eventually, they fly for Blackberries upon the villain, who's actually not quite the villain, spoiler alert, but um, yeah, the villain at the start. And they throw blackberries at him, the rabbits and stuff, and then he gets into an anaphylactic shock and then has to put something into his leg. Um, it may seem a bit strange to put a joke like that in a film, especially if it's aimed at children, you know, G, U, P, G level, but um, I'm guessing they didn't really have any discretion upon that. I'm sure um, Madame Beatrix Potter wouldn't take too kindly to something of that matter, but... Uh, I just wanted to get that through there because I know a lot of people have been talking about that particular scene. I didn't think it was the most offensive thing ever, but it was a bit strange, especially for a movie of this kind. It'd be like putting smoking in a uh, film nowadays. It would seem a bit out of place unless it's contextual. Um, but as far as the film is concerned, aside from that EpiPen joke, uh, I actually thought it was quite funny at place. There's a lot of random antics and sort of Looney Tunes chaos and mayhem. In fact, in many ways, that film, Peter Rabbit, reminded me a great deal of Babe, um, the Australian film by George Miller with the pigs and stuff and the farm animals, and then Shaun the Sheep, which came out a few years ago. I was from Ardman. Um, it was their best film since Chicken Run, in my opinion, from that particular company. In many ways, it takes a lot from those two particular movies and tries to make it out of the uh, Beatrix Potter legacy that she's made for herself with these quaint little children books, picture books that she sells all over for Oliver's Waterstones, Borders, Barnes and Noble, <coughs> many bookshops, Amazon, all that kind. Uh, I was never really raised on uh, Peter Rabbit or Beatrix Potter, but I do know her, you know, particularly by the name and that sort of thing. I'm more f familiar with Sylvanian families rather than uh, Peter Rabbit. When I was a child, I used to read a lot more like Dr. Zeus and the other Grinch Store Christmas over anything. Um, but without getting too off topic, I, I did think a lot of the antics and stuff made the film alive. I like some of the Briticisms. I'm glad they also played Big Country and the Proclaimers in the soundtrack gave it a bit of that Scottish feel, even though it was set in the Lake District, which was a particular I used to travel when I was back in school. I went to school back in Northamptonshire, funny enough, but I thought that was quite peculiar. Um, um, I will say I did not like the ending that much. Uh, I thought the ending felt fairly rushed, and you think he's going to be the villain, you know, Donald Grayson's character, which is Brendan Gleeson's son, but he eventually doesn't, you know, as I warned earlier on with the spoiler alert. Um, but then again, I don't know what, what exactly route they were taking it with this, or maybe that was just, you know, Hollywood's way of saying, okay, we went a bit too far with that EpiPen joke, so maybe we should overcompensate by making him look like the nice guy. You know, the nice guy. Um, but I thought he was the funniest thing in the entire film, more so than James Corden. So I like this. Oh my god. Why am I not looking me off doing this? That's my interpretation, because that's how he's always like in his talk show in America. Um, it's funny, but, you know, it can get tiresome after a certain point. I thought Donald Gleeson's character and the chicken, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, the rooster, what I thought was the funniest thing about it, because they're all so loud and rambunctious. Um, but if you want something a bit more solid and not quite as controversial, you're probably better off just watching Shaun the Sheep. You know, the movie, not the TV show. The TV show is good, but the movie is even better. Uh, or Babe. If you just want something, you know, that doesn't have that EpiPen joke, you know?